I'm kind of lost for words right now because all this week I have been craving my Philly cheese steak egg rolls and my mustard dipping sauce. It's crunchy, it's meaty, it's cheesy, and it's just darn good. But before I get started, I'm gonna wash my hands. <laughs> So the egg rolls is perfect if you're a big entertainer, got your family and friends coming over and you want them to remember something, make an egg rolls because I promise you it would be the talk of the town, the whole world would know about it because they're going to be like, who made the egg rolls, Larisha and Creek Creek. But if you're not a fan of beef, you could do shrimp, you could do chicken, seafood, jackfruit, veggies. Any possibility when it comes to making the egg roll. If you think it, you can make it. But I'm finna go ahead and get started with cutting up my vegetables to make my egg roll that much more flavorful. Let's get cutting. I had a little workout with cutting up these vegetables, but they are done and look at these guns popping out. Mm. All this came from the chopping, but I'm gonna set my veggies to the side now and time to get the beef. Beef, beef, beef. I love me some beef. Can't take it away from me. But I have me a pound of organic grass fed chopped beef. Now, this beef is perfect for making like tacos, making nachos, making beans, making beef burritos. It's just an all around good type of meat. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started with cooking up my meat now. So now I'm gonna cook this delicious organic beef. So I'm gonna drop in a little bit of oil in my preheated pan over, meat on high heat. You can tell your pan nice and hot because it starts to smoke. That's what you want to get a nice brown color on that meat, whatever you're cooking. So in goes the, um, the beef. Mm, love that sound. Sound of goodness. I'm gonna add in the season now. I'm gonna add in a pinch of thyme. Mm, a pinch of red chili flakes. Some pepper and my favorite sea salt flake. I cause this salt to snow up the sea. You know, a lot of people are so scared of using salt, but salt gives food flavor. Without it, it won't be good. Just gonna break this up and get it nice and brown. Brown food tastes good. So I just drained the fat from the beef. I'm finna give it a taste to make sure it don't need no more seasoning, but it might do, let's see. Mm. Add some more salt and pepper to it, just a little. Mix it around. Try one more time. Mm. Perfect. So I'm finna put the meat to the side and get started with cooking the veggies now. So now I'm finna cook the veggies. I'm finna drop in a little bit of oil in my pan over medium high heat. And I love using a stainless steel pan because when you cook different types of meat, it leaves all that flavor at the bottom of the pan and you just don't get that when you're using a non-stick pan. Simple as that. I'm finna drop in my veggies now. My uh, peppers and onions and garlic. Mm. I love the smell of peppers and onions and garlic. I'm gonna add in some salt, with some pepper, and some more thyme. So I'm going to let this cook until the veggies are nice and tender. So the veggies are all sauteed now. Now I'm just gonna add the beef back into it and mix it around so it won't have the family and make the air roll. So here come my favorite part, rolling up the egg rolls, baby. So I'm gonna take 
two wonton wrappers. And actually, you can find these wonton wrappers at your local uh, grocery store in the freezer department. If you can't, just ask around and they'll take you where you want to be. So I take two, two uh, wonton wrappers like this. Make sure they're nice and um, even. One happy family. I'm gonna take a little bit of my egg wash and just smear it all around the edge of the wontons. So make sure that they can stick together. If you don't do this, they're gonna fall apart. Okay. I'm gonna take a little bit of my meat. Smells so good. Put it right in the center. A little bit more. Not too much. Take some cheese. Mozzarella. You could do mozzarella, you could do parmesan, you could do Kobe Jack. It's up to you. All right, now let's roll. Back. Perfect. One down, 10 more to go. So I just got done with running up my last egg roll. I'm about to fry these baby up until they nice and golden brown. But in the meantime, let's make my special mustard sauce. Now this right here is my secret mustard sauce. It's really good, so let's make it. I start out with a half a cup of mayonnaise. Nice and creamy, I love mayonnaise. A bit more. I'm gonna add in a tablespoon, two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. With a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and some honey. A tablespoon of honey goes in for sweetness. Love honey. I'll mix it around. So everything is done. Let's put everything together now. Come my favorite part, trying my Philly cheese steak egg rolls. Here it is. I'm gonna get a cheesy one. Look at that. A little bit of sauce. Mmm. Mm. It's crunchy, it's meaty, it's cheesy. That sauce, all I gotta do is shake my head on this one. See ya. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. This right here, my friends, is my drink called the Red Baboon. He get on your back and you can't shake him off. I'm making this drink next time, but thanks for watching my show. See you next time on my personal shelf. Peace. Hit that subscribe button at the bottom of the page.